a certain level of quality? Uh, to me, I would buy what I want to buy and not let money influence that. A brand of a good brand is obviously would be my choice, and uh, um, one would always go to go for the tend to go with the most popular brand. Taste. Uh, price doesn't bother me. If I want something specific and a certain brand or name, I will rather buy it, even if it's double as much as a, the, the cheaper one. I definitely prefer something that tastes good and of good quality, uh, as opposed to the price, really. I'd rather spend a bit more. To a large degree, quality does count. It's taste and affordability. That's just it. Taste and affordability. Sometimes, sometimes, if I really, really want it, I'll pay that extra, depending on the brand. And sometimes, if I'm having a broke month, I'll take the cheapest one. Yes. Uh, no, it's definitely taste. I mean, oh, you know, uh, you have to consider the quality of the product for your own health and that sort of thing. So, yeah, I think definitely taste and quality, yeah. My taste influences what I buy completely. I don't buy anything that I don't like. I only buy things that I do like. I'll just ignore the rest. Price influences it sometimes when I don't have money, but I still won't buy things that I don't like. I will try and save until I get what I want. Definitely taste does influence what I buy too. From this, we can see that our tastes, our preferences, influence our decisions and our demand for any particular product. One day, we might decide this choice isn't very healthy, and that might change this preference, leading us to buy less fried chicken, but not today. This is also why businesses spend so much money on advertising. They want to influence our tastes and preferences. We will use the symbol T to denote tastes and preferences.